This is People's Park, the green and yellow icon of Singapore's Chinatown. It was the first of Singapore's brutalist icons to be built, with construction finishing in 1970. People's Park Complex was the first massive mixed-use building in Southeast Asia with shops, offices and residences. The shopping mall on the lower levels opened in 1970 and the 25-storey residential tower opened in 1973. The original exterior of People's Park was raw concrete. In 1998, it was painted orange and yellow and in 2009, it was painted the yellow and green colour scheme it is today. Tae King Soon, one of the architects of People's Park Complex, told us about the design of the building. What was your inspiration when designing these buildings? The fundamental inspiration is, uh, how, do we, how do we create an, an urban situation, buildings in the, in the centre of the city or in, in in the busy parts of the city, which would have a very strong uh, social and community uh, interactional aspect, right? So this fitted very well with uh, the, the idea of multifunction buildings, particularly for shopping centers, right? Where shopping is not just a place to buy something, it's also a social uh, event, right? So shopping as, as entertainment, right, uh, became uh, the, 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 the driving reason for that kind of design, yeah. People's Park is a huge hub of the Chinese community and a famous place to get affordable traditional Chinese massage. The shopping areas around the building were meant to replicate the shop houses of Chinatown in a modern format. Can you tell us about how you got the job to design both People's Park Complex and also Golden Mall? Yeah, I was very lucky. I was a very young architect at that time. When I designed People's Park, I was, uh, what, 28 years old. Basically, I had uh, travelled around the world and uh, my last uh, location was in Tokyo. And I saw those uh, tremendous uh, high-rise shopping centres. And, and, and that made a very strong impression on me that it is not impossible to build uh, high-rise shopping. Because at that time, uh, the idea of shopping was only you know, at street level, shop houses, that kind of thing, right? Today, it's also known as one of the most popular places in Singapore to do an Instagram photo shoot. Influencers in Singapore always flock to places where it's cool, where it's untouched, where it looks slightly off. People's Park Complex actually is, consists of hundreds of little shop shop owners, right? It's not a kind of corporate uh, shopping mall which is owned by one, one developer or one owner and then uh, uh, who then runs the whole place. This is a conglomeration of small uh, uh, shopkeepers, right? So we organized an exhibition uh, uh, of the project even before it was built and, and, and people were invited mainly the people from the surrounding areas, like Chinatown at that time. And they came in droves, right? With uh, pillowcases filled with cash, right? And they, you know, it was a success from day one, right? They, they, they saw it, they loved it. They, they adopted the building. So it became the new Chinatown. In March 2018, owners of units at People's Park Complex formed a committee to explore an en bloc sale. People's Park Centre, a similar building next door, is already up for its first en bloc sale attempt. The price is 1.35 billion Singapore dollars, almost double the price of Pearl Bank. So People's Park Complex would definitely be one of the most expensive en bloc sales in Singapore ever. But many heritage architecture lovers fear that if the complex is bought, it will be demolished and Singapore's Chinatown will lose a key part of its character. Just to clarify, um, are you okay with the building being demolished? Of course not. But, <laughs> but um, this is the, 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 the ambient condition in which we live in Singapore, right? As Lee Kuan Yew said, right? We are condemned. We are condemned. 
to forever be building and rebuilding, right? This is the, the tragic reality of this place. Growing up in Singapore, passing by Chinatown, I will always look out the bus and look at this building. It's truly iconic. If, if someone were to demolish this building, that's like demolishing half of Chinatown. Are you involved in any efforts to save the buildings? Not at all. I deliberately step, step aside because I'm an interested party, right? I, but I'm, I obs I'm observing the scene, right? Uh, rather critically, right? And I think the URA has a lot to do with, with this problem by insisting on a 100% uh, voting consensus to preserve the building, right? That's a ridiculous situation. I think they backtrack on that, and I think they learned the lesson that that's not the right way to go. And that's why uh, there's a chance that People's Park and, uh, and Golden Mile may have, may be saved, right? But that depends on, 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 on how the, the forces working behind the scene are going to act it out. I don't know. Coconuts TV.